there's a sanskrit saying called sarvendriyanam nainam pradhanam meaning eyes are very important out of all the sense organs what we have out of the five sense organs eyes are very important because it is through the senses that we interact with our surrounding world okay and whatever we observe through our eyes we'll be able to keep it in memory for a long time what we see we'll be able to remember for a long time so that's how eyes are very important for us okay now it is common quite common observation that whenever we see an object coming closer to us we find that its size appears to be bigger for example you observe an aeroplane very close by on a runway once it starts to take off and starts taking and going away from you on the runway its size appears to be smaller smaller and smaller still as the distance between the plane and your eyes increases the size that appears size of the plane that appears to be for you is very very closer smaller why is it so does it mean that as the distance between the object and your eyes is increasing the size of the object changes or once the object is closer coming closer to you does its size increase nothing like that right so basically what happens what gives you the sensation that whenever an object is approaching you its size appears to be appearing to be bigger similarly when an object is receding going away from you okay its size appears to be becoming smaller the reason for that is simple whatever the total object will make an angle at your eye it is that angle which is changing let us see like this suppose i have an object of this size and my eye is here i am taking the eye as a point okay now if i measure the angle made by this object at the eye this is the object so it is hangs certain dimensions let us say this angle here is alpha now i bring this same object closer to the eye now this is the distance let us say this is the distance now i bring the same object closer it is of the same size what's happening now when you consider the angle made by the object here in this case this is beta now the distance is reduced this is the new distance so compare the distances on the angles when the ang distance of the object is far away from the eye the angle made is alpha and when the object is approaching your eyes the angle made is beta definitely it is observed that beta is greater than the alpha as the distance is approaching you here the angle made by the object is increasing okay so it is this angular vision that gives us an impression that the size of the object is increasing it is not exactly the size of the object which is changing but the size of the image form image of the object formed in the eye is changing okay it is the size of the image of the object which is formed in the eye that is changing so it appears to be bigger now what is the maximum angle you can have like this whatever i am not giving any values to alpha and beta but there should be a limit right every perception our eyes our nose your ears skin everything has a limitation so is the eyes 
So when it comes closer, if I keep the object very close like this to the eye, can we see? Can we see that object? Definitely not. Okay. So there is a limitation because the angle is much greater. So this angle of vision, this is this is the angle, what we call it as angle of vision. As the object is approaching to your eyes, the angle of vision is increasing, thereby giving an impression that the size of the image, size of the object is increasing. The maximum angle that is of vision, what a normal human being can have is 60 degrees, not beyond that. Correspondingly, there is a distance, minimum distance to be maintained. Let us suppose this is 60 degrees. Assuming that this is 60 degrees. Okay. Now, if this is 60 degrees, this is the maximum. Beyond which, we will not be able to see the complete object clearly. Okay. So, correspondingly, we have certain distance, minimum distance wherein we can observe an object or an image very clearly. That minimum distance is called as least distance of distinct vision. In short, they will call it as LDDV. Least distance of distinct vision. Least distance of distinct vision. For a normal human being, this distance is 25 centimeters. That means when an object is kept closer to your eyes, less than 25 centimeter, you will not be able to see that object clearly. That is the meaning. Okay. So, what, why does will not be able to see the objects closer than 25 centimeters clearly? And what is the helps, what is that in our eyes that helps us see the objects? Is it very simple, like a lens? Or do we have a complex structure? If we look at the structure, rough structure of the image, the cross section of a eye, it is like this. Basically, we have here outer surface over here. This is the front portion of the eye. This is inside the back portion. So all this part is the interior portion. What we will be able to see is only this part here. So it's like this, the cross section. Here, outer surface is like the outer membrane here is a cornea, a tissue-like membrane, okay, wherein the maximum refraction takes place, okay. It obviously it is the refraction which helps us see, observe the objects, okay, and between the cornea and the lens. We have a jelly like fluid that is what we call aqueous humor. Okay. This lens is a crystalline material, a tissue like material through which you will be able to observe. And this lens is held in place by the help of muscles called ciliary muscles. Okay. Between the ciliary muscles and the, between the lens and this aqueous humor, you have a membrane tissue called iris. It is like the shutter of a camera, camera lens. Okay. It will control the amount of light that enters your eyes. For example, you enter into a cinema hall from outside. As soon as you enter, you will see completely darkness. You will not be able to see any object. It will take a few seconds to identify the objects in place and then search for your location. So what happens is because you have come from an environment where sufficient light is there outside to a relatively darker area, the iris will expand so as to allow more amount of light to enter your eyes so that you will be able to see the objects clearly. Similarly, when you go out of the hall, 
into the out of the hall then you enter a region where there is more than the dark uh, more than the light as you are used to as your eyes are used to say you are spending say one and a half hour to two hours in a dark room like a cinema hall and when you come out you are entering a bright area so the iris in your eyes is expanded in a expanded position when you are in the cinema hall as soon as you come out it is still lying in the same expanded position allowing much amount of light entering your eyes which your eyes cannot bear so you will be able to see a full brightness a glare of light 